Hello friends, this video on chemical bonding part 8 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 7. So let's draw the structure of C2H2. So carbon has how many electrons? Carbon has 4 electrons, valence electrons. And there are 2 carbons, so 4, 2. Hydrogen has 1 valence electron, 2 hydrogen atoms. So total is 10 valence electrons we have. Let's arrange in this fashion, C2H2, everybody is connected, since it was central, so we connected in this fashion. So we start with 10 valence electrons and we have 3 bonds now, right? So we need 6 electrons gone for 3 bonds. So we have 4 valence electrons. Let's try to satisfy this carbon. This carbon has now 4 electrons, right? 1, 2, 3 and 4. To be happy it needs 4 more. So we gave 4 to this electron. So we are left with 0 valence electron and this carbon is not happy. Right? So this carbon told, okay, I'll give one electron to you. I'll form a double bond. So let's start with the new structure in this fashion. So this is gone. So let's start again from fresh. We have 10 valence electron. In the bonding now we need 8 electron because we have 4 bonds. So 8 electron is needed for 4 bond. So we have 2 electron remaining. This carbon has 6 electrons now, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it needs 2 electron to be happy. This carbon is happy. So we have this carbon happy. But we are left with 0 valence electron and this carbon is not happy. It has 6 electrons. This guy is sad. So again this carbon told, okay, I'll pair once more with you. So now this carbon is forming a triple bond with this carbon. Again, redraw the structure. So we start with 10 valence electron. We have 3 plus 2, 5 uh, bond. That means we need 10 valence electron for 5 bond. So we are left with 0 valence electron. So in this case, if everybody is happy, that means this is my structure. Let's see. This carbon has 8 electron, this carbon has 8 electrons, this hydrogen has 2 electrons, then this hydrogen has 2 electrons. That means everybody is happy. Since everybody is happy, this is my structure. Right? Because my carbon, carbon, hydrogen, all the atoms in this molecule is happy, this is my structure. Just an example of oxygen. Oxygen has six valence electron and there are two molecules will have 12 valence electron. So let's join these oxygen by single bond. So start with six, six, 12 valence electron and I consume two electrons for one bond. I'm left with 10 electrons. This oxygen has two electrons now. I need eight electrons to be happy. So I'll give six electrons to this guy. This is one, this is two. So six electrons I give it to oxygen one. I am left with four electrons. This oxygen two has two electrons. It needs six electrons to be happy, but we have only four electrons to be happy. This guy, oxygen two atom needs six electrons to be happy, but we have only two valence electrons. This oxygen two is sad. So what? We'll do now oxygen and we'll say okay I'll do one more sharing with you don't be sad so we'll start fresh here with a double bond let's cross this so we have started with 12 valence bond valence electron so we have a double bond double bond needs four electron or two bond so we are left with eight electrons let's see first oxygen this is oxygen one this is oxygen two oxygen one has four electrons now right one two 3, 4, and it needs 4 more. So let's give 4 electrons to this oxygen. 4 to oxygen 1. So we are left with 4 oxygen. 4 electrons actually, and this oxygen is happy. Let's see oxygen 2. Oxygen 2 also has 4 electrons, and that's why it needs 8 minus 4, that is 4 electrons. And we have 4 electrons, so let's give this 4 electrons to this oxygen. So this is oxygen is also happy. I am left with 0 valence electron now, but this oxygen 1 and 2 both are happy. 
since both are happy, right? Both both the electrons are both the oxygen are happy. I'll say that this is my Levy structure, right? Because Levy structure says that all the atoms in the molecule has to be happy. That is, all the molecules, all the atoms in the molecule has to be stable to give a proper Levy structure. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.